Hey everyone, my name is Murphy and this is Murphy's Law. The series where if anything that can go wrong, I can solve. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a general setup for the OM Tech Polar and show you the proper steps to get started on your first cut. Now, keep in mind that my setup could be a bit different from yours, but if you follow along closely, you should be more or less close to the end product. Before we start, if you have any problems with your laser, let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Let's begin. All right, so we're gonna get our small exhaust duct here, and then we're gonna get this clamp, just kind of put it around one side. And then we're gonna pull it over the flange here, and then put the clamp over the flange. And then we're gonna get our screwdriver, and you can use either a flathead or a Phillips for this. I'm using a flathead, and just start tightening it down. And that's about it for that one. Now we're gonna attach the other side of that same exhaust hose to the exhaust fan. But to do that, we're gonna have to get another one of these clamps and attach it to this side of the same duct. And then you should have an adapter that looks like this, a four inch to six inch adapter. And we're gonna put the narrow end on this side. And then we're gonna tighten that up with that same Phillips head or flathead screwdriver. Once you have that tightened up, we can actually go ahead and get our exhaust fan that comes with the polar. Now we're gonna attach the end of this adapter to the end of our inline fan here. And we have another one of these clamps. So this clamp is actually gonna go around here and then we're gonna push this onto our inline fan. Keeping in mind, there is an image here that shows you the airflow. Just keep in mind, you want the exhaust fan to come in the input side and this is the output side. So we're gonna push this in. Now we're just gonna tighten this up. All right, now this side of the exhaust fan is finished. So that's pretty much it for the inline fan. We do have an additional six inch exhaust ducting that can go on this side of the fan, but the setup is pretty much the same as this side. Uh, just the only thing is that on this side, you're gonna exhaust this duct either outside of your window or outside of your garage or wherever you have access to exhaust the fumes. The next thing we're gonna do is plug the machine power cable in. So here we have our power cable and just plug it into the connection there. We're also going to go ahead and open our toolbox that came with the machine. Now we're going to look for this little aviation plug. It's this little chrome plug with a blue cable on it. And we're going to go ahead and plug that into the back here. <clears throat> it might have a rubber cap on it, so just go ahead and take that rubber cap off carefully. And plug this in here until it clicks. And then right above that, we have this attenuator knob. We want to make sure that this knob is turned all the way to max. So turn it counterclockwise until it stops, and then that should be good. So before we do our first cut, I'm going to go ahead and get this honeycomb in there. So I'm going to come around <clears throat> and pull out this tray and set that down for now. Then we're going to get our honeycomb and make sure the Omtech logo is facing the front. And we're going to go ahead slide that in and now we can get our tray and slide that back in under the honeycomb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our little toolbox and look for our little keychain and you'll find two little keys that's chrome and black. We're going to go around to the front here and we're going to go ahead and power it on. So now we're going to jump into the LightBurn software. At this point, you should have a USB cable running from the computer to the machine. So I uploaded this file. It's a birdhouse DXF that I found online. So I'm going to go ahead and set our parameters here. Uh, mode for line is OK. Going to go ahead and double click here. And then we're also going to go over to our Move tab and focus our laser. So I'm going to start by clicking Focus Z. The laser head should move up to the top position. And we're going to put our distance to, it's already there, but 14. For the polar, the way the focus works is you start with the number 17 and then you subtract the material thickness. In this case, I'm doing three millimeter uh, acrylic. So 17 minus three is 14. So that's why I'm putting 14 here. And then I'm going to click this down arrow to move my laser head down into position. After that, I'm going to go ahead and frame this out. 
Right now my laser is tracking the frame and after we frame, if everything looks okay, we can go ahead and hit start. Now that we have all the pieces of our project together, we're going to go ahead and put this thing together. As you can see, maybe white glue wasn't the best idea on this clear acrylic, but there you have it. This is how you do a basic setup on your OM Tech Polar. Like I said before, if you want to see more content on the Polar, then hit that like and subscribe for more content. And as always, my name is Murphy and this has been Murphy's Law.